Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will explore the benefits of using the exit intent pop-ups and how they can help us to reduce the bounce rate and attract our website visitors. So as you know, the pop-up box plugin have various triggers and one of them is exit intent. So in this video, we will learn how we can activate this trigger and what advantages it can give us. So as you can see, I'm on my front end and as soon as I'm moving to the top, the pop-up is appearing. Uh, so as soon as your website visitors will decide to leave your website, they will uh, see the pop-up and they will stay on your website even longer. So now let's go and see how we can activate the exit intent pop-up trigger in the pop-up box plugin. So this is how my dashboard looks like after installing and activating the pop-up box plugin. Here you can see that I have already created various pop-ups, but for creating your very first pop-up, all you need to do is to click on the add new button. Um, here you will see that the pop-up allows us to choose various pop-up types, but for this video, let's choose the subscription pop-up type and click on the select button. Here again, we will need to choose the templates. Let's choose this one and again, click on the select button. So here it is. For finding the pop-up triggers, all we need to do is to scroll a little bit down in the general tab. So let's do it. And here it is. This is the needed option. Here we can see that the plugin offers us uh, various triggers such as um, on hover, inactivity, after visiting some pages or scrolling to the particular element. But here we will need to choose the exit intent trigger. So here it is. You have chosen the exit intent trigger. For saving the changes, all you need to do is to click on the save button and that's all. So, with the help of this simple step, you will be able to activate the exit intent trigger and now you will be sure that your website visitors will see your offers and they will stay on your website even longer and you are sure that you will reduce the bounce rate. 